Today I'm going to take a look at the Connect On USB to Lightning cable and I bought it for about 10 bucks at Walmart. Apple loves to do proprietary equipment and the Lightning cable has to be one of the most irritating things of all their devices. I'm really glad to hear that the EU is going to ban this and require a USB-C and that makes really, really good sense. But I have a lot of older Apple products that use this, you know, iPads and iPhones. And so here's a standard three foot cable and these things are notoriously too short. They're incredibly expensive. Uh, on the Apple store, this is $16 and, and that's, that's just a complete ripoff for a cable. So I've used several different brands uh, to try and, and you know buy the generics on Amazon and whatnot, and a lot of time they have names that you can't even recognize. And some of those have worked, some of them have failed. So what I'm going to try this time is this brand here. So what I did today is I went down to Walmart and bought this, and this is a Connect On, I believe is the brand name, and it's a six foot cable, and it's only 10 bucks. Actually it was like 984, something like that. So I was talking to someone at Walmart and I said, well, how much is the three footer? Because I couldn't really see it was like $1 less. That doesn't make any sense. And so for a, uh, this is six feet. If you want to buy an Apple one, genuine Apple, it's two meters and it's something like $25 or something like that. I, I mean, it's just ridiculous for a charge cable. And so the first thing I did when I got home was I plugged it into all of the older devices, the iPads and the iPhones that I've, you know, I've had around for a long time. And it's either gonna work or it isn't going to work. As soon as you plug it in and you plug it into your computer, if, if it starts blinking back and forth, then this is one of the problem cables. And so I tried this and I tried it on all my devices. I tried it in the USB, uh, you know, charge port. I also tried it in my computer and I did a backup. And so far it has worked just fine. So using it just for one day is not that helpful, but it does answer at least one question. It works. Really the true test will be how it performs over time. And so I'll update you and let you know how this performs, but for now, I think $10 for a six foot cord is a pretty good deal. And I'm going to stick with more of the, what do we call it? More of a brand name generic, so to speak, that I can get at Walmart, or they probably have them on Amazon. If so, I'll put a link down below. Instead of trying to go for just the, any old generic one that you can find on Amazon with some obscure name. So stay tuned for updates and I'll let you know how this works. And thanks for watching.